video, I'm going to answer your question, which is what version of QuickBooks Online should I purchase for my business? Hi, I'm Hector Garcia. I'm a CPA and a QuickBooks consultant. And when you land into the QuickBooks website, it's a little bit confusing because there's a lot of options. And if you have a small business and you're trying to get into QuickBooks Online, it could be a bit overwhelming to try to pick the right version. First, let's talk about QuickBooks Online self-employed, or better yet, QuickBooks Self-Employed. QuickBooks Self-Employed is part of the online family because it's web-based, but it's actually not considered to be QuickBooks Online, the accounting system, because QuickBooks Self-Employed is actually a very simple uh, software that allows you to connect your banks, categorize your income and expenses. It allows you to mix both personal and business. And at the end of the day, you'll be able to produce a report for your Schedule C tax return. However, most accountants don't like QuickBooks Self-Employed because it doesn't produce a formal balance sheet or a formal income statement, which is what you need if you have a corporation, S-corporation, or an LLC partnership. When you have a legal entity that's supposed to be separate from the business, it needs to have its own set of financial statements or accounting records. So for that, you might want to move to QuickBooks Online, not QuickBooks Self-Employed. So let's toss QuickBooks Self-Employed to the side and let's focus on the four versions of QuickBooks Online. So QuickBooks Online has four versions, Simple Start, Essentials, Plus, and Advance. The prices as of the time of this video is $25 a month for Simple Start, $40 a month for Essentials, $70 a month for Plus, and $150 a month for Advance. Don't worry about the prices because by the time you watch this video, those prices might change. But I know prices matter. I know pricing matters quite a bit. So I'm going to put a link in the bottom, which is an affiliate link that you can use to sign up for a brand new QuickBooks Online account with a 50% discount. This is an affiliate link. I do get a kickback, so it helps my channel. But most importantly, it gives you 50% off for a whole year. And I welcome to shop around to see if there's a better deal out there. I doubt it. I think my link contains the best deal out there. Anyway, let's start with QuickBooks Online Simple Start. So QuickBooks Online Simple Start, for the most part, is only for one user. So if you have a business that's not going to have anyone else accessing QuickBooks and just you, the business owner, the manager, whatever, are going to be accessing it, and you don't want anybody else to be looking at QuickBooks, then you can go with Simple Start. It allows you to do invoices, estimates. You can connect your banks, download expenses, categorize them. It gives you access to the iPhone version of the, of the software so you can do some of the things on the fly. It also allows you to track uh, sales tax and track your mileage if you turn on the location feature on your phone. So it's a very basic version. It can produce profit and loss and balance sheet, but it's really for a really, really small business. Now let's move on to QuickBooks Online Essentials. QuickBooks Online Essentials has everything that QuickBooks Simple Start has, plus it adds three users. So you can have one, two, or three users accessing QuickBooks. Everybody has their own username and password, so you can know who did what in the audit log. One of the great things about QuickBooks Online is the capacity for different people to work from different locations, from different devices. You can use QuickBooks on a Mac, on a PC, on a tablet, on a smartphone. It's one of the great flexibilities of using QuickBooks Online. So with that comes multiple users. And for me, it's pretty much uh, the, the, the bare version that I recommend to my clients is that QuickBooks uh, Online Essentials. The other thing that it adds is it allows you the capacity to manage bills, which means you can track accounts payable. So with all versions of QuickBooks, you can do invoices and, uh, and track receivables, the money that's owed to you by your customers. Now you can track your payables. That means you can enter all the money that you're going to pay in the future and you can plan for your cash outflow. In my opinion, one of the great advantages of having accounting software is not only tracking the money that comes in, but also tracking the money that comes out today and the money that might come out tomorrow. So for that, I think QuickBooks Online Essentials is sort of bare minimum. It also allows you to do timesheets. So timesheets are really useful for uh, running payroll or for maybe for tracking the amount spent uh, so you can use that information to make better business decisions. Now, QuickBooks Essentials on top of that has a little bit more flexibility when it comes to reports. You can add certain comparatives. So you can do like a last month profit and loss versus the previous month or the previous year. 
something you can't do on simple start. So the reporting is a little bit improved when it comes to QuickBooks Online Essential. Then we come then we come to QuickBooks Online Plus. QuickBooks Online Plus is $70 a month as of the day of this video. This one is going to add a lot of extra features. First of all, it moves the number of users from three to five. So that's a really big deal. It also allows you to have unlimited report only users and unlimited time tracking only users. So if you have five people that are doing accounting, but then you can have unlimited people that are doing time tracking or that are just looking at reports. So I find that to be a real powerful feature. On top of that, it allows you to track what's called project profitability, which means you can track expenses by customer, expenses by job, and you can know how much money you're making per job. You can track your income and expenses per job. So plus and advance are the only ones that have that. On top of that, it gives you the ability to track inventory. Uh, inventory is not very powerful in QuickBooks Online. It's never been known as a very powerful uh, feature. So if you're a very large company with a lot of inventories, you have to look into a third-party app or possibly look into desktop version of QuickBooks Online. But for the smaller companies that don't have that much inventory, it works really, really well. So QuickBooks does allow you to track inventory coming in, inventory coming out, and inventory value. Something that's not on the page that you're looking at here, it's also classes and locations. Classes and locations allows you to add multiple dimensions to your reports where you can create cost centers. Uh, for example, with classes, you can have different departments inside of your business, such as labor, materials, overhead, admin, that sort of thing. And then on top of classifying an expense, you can also give it a class. So later on, you can run a profit and loss by class, or you can run a filter report with details of transactions under that class. Now, let's move on to QuickBooks Online Advanced. QuickBooks Online Advanced is going to add a lot of extra features. Number one, the most obvious one, is it can go up to 25 users. So 25 users is the maximum capacity that QuickBooks Online has as of the date of this video. So if you need more than 25 users, your, your business is probably too big for QuickBooks Online anyway. So if you have anywhere between 6 and 25 users, QuickBooks Online Advanced works really good for you. On top of that, it has enhanced user permissions where you can discriminate what areas does a certain user have access to. So when you have a lot of people using QuickBooks, you might have some people that you don't want them to be looking at the bank or payroll. Maybe you want them to focus on invoicing or focus on uh, entering bills or uh, expenses, that sort of thing. So a QuickBooks line advanced and advanced only gives you the ability to those uh, additional user permissions. QuickBooks Online Advanced also acts uh, custom fields. Now you can have a really detailed level of custom fields. So when you create an invoice, for example, you can have additional fields that QuickBooks Online wasn't originally designed to do that are really customized to your specific operation. And with those custom fields, you can create really powerful reports so you can find information in very specific ways. So on top of having classes and locations, you also have uh, custom fields. In addition to that, you're going to have some features called batch invoicing that allows you in, in a single sheet, enter a whole bunch of invoices in one shot. You can also import invoices if you have them in Excel. So if you have an Excel spreadsheet with a bunch of invoices, you can add that using QuickBooks uh, Online Advance. You can also batch enter expense, expenses and bills as well in a sort of spreadsheet style format. And they continue to add new features to QuickBooks Online in an attempt to make it the most powerful online web-based accounting software out there. Recently, they've added something called automated workflows where you can create certain triggers inside of the software and automate reminders to the users or your customers for certain things they have, they have to do. For example, payment reminders that they haven't paid you. You can actually program that with the automated workflow. They've also added a new feature that allows you to back up your QuickBooks Online file up to 30 days in the past. So if you've done something to screw up your books, you can go back seven seven days and pretty much turn back time and get your books exactly how it was seven days ago. So that's actually a really, really cool feature. They also added access to additional training videos that normally they would sell for a couple of hundred bucks. They partner with a real world training, a training company to provide access to those training videos for QuickBooks Online advanced uh, customers only. So anyway, I am not saying you should buy one version or the other. 
I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible for you to choose what version you want. The nice thing is, once you pick a version, you can grow up or you can uh, downgrade as you need it. So it's actually not such a big deal. However, if you are going to use my link, which I'll put in the bottom in the description, uh, the link applies to the initial version that you choose. If you if you change the version in the middle uh, of, uh, of of your subscription, that, that code might not stick in there. So I'm going to put my email in the bottom right. So if you have some issues with that change of pricing in the middle, you can email me and I can do my best to try to contact someone into it and make it work for you. But what I really want you to do is to pick the right version from the get-go. Now, there's a couple of add-ons that you can get that QuickBooks might ask you in the process. So I want to help you a little bit through them. So you're going to get one potential add-on, which is payroll. So you can add payroll. It's usually $50 to $150 a month, depending on how many employees you have. And as you add payroll, you can actually uh, create your paychecks. And QuickBooks will take all the responsibility of uh, filing the forms and paying the taxes for you. Now, there's higher tiers in the payroll version that give you more features. For example, if you want to do phone-based time tracking, you're going to have to go to the highest tier for that. If you want to have some additional HR support, you might have to go to the highest tier for that. I don't want to discuss payroll in detail because that almost changes every year. So depending on when you watch it, just kind of follow the prompt. Another potential add-on that you can get offered is payments. Payments means uh, merchant services, uh, the ability to add a a button that says uh, pay now. So your customers, when they get an invoice, they can click on pay now. So you're welcome to follow the prompt and say yes to that. However, on top of that, uh, we have preferred rates for uh, for merchant through QuickBooks. So if you are going to enable that, just email me and I'll connect you with someone into it that might give you a slightly better rate that one uh, average customers get. And when I say slightly, I mean really slightly. We're talking about possibly 0.1%. But if you have a couple hundred thousand dollars of invoices per year that you charge, that 0.1% difference could be a couple hundred bucks. So you, you could, you're welcome to follow the prompt once you set up uh, QuickBooks. But if you want me to just forward you a, a contact from Intuit that might get you a little bit better rate from QuickBooks, this is all within the product, just email me and I'll shoot, shoot that information over to you. Anyway, if something wasn't clear, uh, you're welcome to send me an email. As much as I can help, I will try to help you. And maybe this uh, helped you uh, figure out what version of QuickBooks is best for you. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.